Okay, Christmas is nearly here. Time to put up the decorations, get the milk and cookies, and play a game. But which one? Hmm... I know! A game about an undercover octopus dad. The best pick for a Christmas special review! Finally, I am here for an untimed Christmas special for Art Lab instead of the Dawn section. What the? Who invited you? Octodad was made possible by a Kickstarter campaign after the previous cheesy version, and then it was released for PC Worldwide on the 30th of January 2014. It was then later ported to the Android, iOS, and every platform available this generation, with the exception of 3DS. Why are you still here? Well, since Shimuda Brian, aka Mr. Douchebag, appears nearly every one of your videos, I figured now is a good time for me, Lucario X, to join in. Fine, but no kidnapping me. Wait, do you even have a YouTube channel? The story begins with a wedding and the groom is late. If there's one thing you don't do, ladies and gentlemen, it's being late to your own wedding. And someone is in the room to see what's going on. Oh my god! He's an octopus! Run for your lives! You're not even dressed! What?! Are you kidding me?! Are you that stupid?! Ignoring... that. All we have to do at this point is get to the wedding. Oh. Whoops. Oh, Retro. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. It's uh, gonna be one of those games. Yep. This game is based around you getting through the levels with your weird man octopus body physics. The controls are simple. You move your <clears throat> weird legs each step at a time and you use your octopus arms to grab tins, open doors and push buttons. Not gonna lie though. It's pretty funny seeing Octodad mess tins up like that. By the way, I'm gonna refer to him as Octodad for now. Once you get to the hall, you'll soon realize that the real challenge is making sure that nobody knows you're an octopus. So I guess everyone's an idiot? The only way to stay safe is to not make a mess while you're being watched or hitting anyone. After that, I guess the game begins. Story-wise, it's short. It cuts to a few years later with you now having two children. I am not gonna look deeper into that. And the rest of the game is you and your family going to the aquarium, while occasionally running into a chef who knows who you are and wants some fried octopus legs for lunch. Well, at least someone is not a complete moron! Yeah, the story's not winning any awards anytime soon. Same goes for the graphics and sound design. The game looks alright, but the Wii U version is not the best looking version. All fingers point into the skybox in that one cutscene. And the game sounds alright, but with the Wii U, it's a little weird. At least I think it's only the Wii U. Sometimes you can hear the voice dialogues, and sometimes you can't. Even your own, um, voice. Guess you'll have to get the ring yourself. Better you, yes you, yes you, yes you, yes you, 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 you want to just see this crazy, crazy, crazy uh, deal, you know? How crazy do you want to see? I'll tell you how crazy this is, and yeah, let me go. With this head here, you can creep your favorite people. And I mean it, your favorite people. So let me tell you, these satisfying customers like just look at this head. It creeps you out, and it's only available in Team Fortress 2. To be honest, the whole game as a whole is pretty short. Even with the two free DLCs. But does that hinder the game? No. Not at all. Walking around as an octopus is weird, but I like it. And the fact that you had to remain undercover while trying to just get through adds to the challenge. The levels are built around your weird physics too. That's pretty much all there is to this game. WARNING! If you have a short temper, don't play this game, or else you'll be busting up whatever console you're playing on! Without a doubt, this game has some great and funny moments. Like when you're trying to get the pizza, but you just... can't. So let's go through the open door and squeeze our way through- Oh, oh god, where am I going?! Got a pizza! Well, how much money is that damage gonna cost? I'm out of here! And also, how is Dr. Dad not getting caught when there are CCTV cameras everywhere? What the fuck? Well, come over and take a look at this weirdo! He's going through the freezer, he's breaking into the- Hold on, we don't even serve free sushi! 
sushi. Why is it doing that? Now she's coming like can conscious for that one soda. It's also a two player mode. It's great. Do I need to say anything? Just watch. And that's Octodad, the Dadly's Catch. What do I think of it? In short, I could use some more levels, but I think it's freaking crazy! Don't play unless you want to turn out like Mr. <clears throat> anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for crashing in, X. No problemo. Time for me to aura bless my way out of here. <sighs> I don't have the money to fix that, and it's winter too. Oh, before you go, I'd like to say thank you for watching this review and supporting me for these last two years. I knew my reviews were crappy and heck, these last three reviews, including this one, were really short. So, I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise that 2020 will be the craziest year for this channel, plus you'll get an extra video on January. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Retro Arms. Retro Mini Me, signing out. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a hard year for me. Hey gamers, thanks for watching this episode. To be honest, I really thought this would be a very boring and short review, but um, thanks to Locario X and Shimoda Bride, aka Douchebag, <laughs> they came up with a lot of good ideas, well not a lot of ideas, but the ideas they came up with was actually pretty good. In fact, without them, there'll probably be only one joke in this um, review, and that'll be it. So, special thanks to you two guys. And as promised, I will make an extra little video somewhere between uh, January and February. Blech. Somewhere between... You know what? E either, either on Christmas Day or the day after Christmas. You decide, but I have no idea. I, I'm okay with either. You, you, tell, you tell me. Anyway, I look forward to this year. Um, I hope... Well, I... I it's, there's a lot of work to be done, but I hope you will look forward to it because, um, after all... Why did you subscribe to this channel if you don't expect anything?